The cloud has enabled mass connectivity of people, of resources, of information that was never possible before. Data and software used to be standalone, unconnected, slow, and limited to our personal use. Today, we tap into the power of thousands of interconnected computers. They provide an amazing array of capabilities that make the world a smaller place. And that's really the power and the beauty behind it. That constant connection, sharing video and pictures, planning vacations with family and friends, social networks, search applications, streaming content, email, using GPS, and having it all in the palm of your hand. It creates a feeling of being closer. But cloud computing doesn't just benefit personal use, it benefits businesses too. They rely on the cloud for enterprise applications to scale capability and services in real time without having to depend on a cumbersome internal infrastructure. The cloud enables us to access information and applications at any time from almost any place. And whether it's three people or three million people, there's an expectation that it will work instantly and flawlessly. The ability to store and analyze huge amounts of unstructured data extends into some of today's most challenging big data problems. We're gonna to get to a point and say, hey, I'm going to my 10th year reunion and I wanna find a picture that I took 10 years ago. And I don't wanna wait any longer to get that picture than the picture I just took yesterday. As a cloud provider, meeting this user expectation of instant and affordable access to data is the first challenge. Then you've got to make sure that data is reliable and always available. The last thing anybody wants is an outage. And then, of course, there are always cost and physical limitations that apply to all of us. So as usage and demand for spontaneous access grows, it drives a bottleneck in the data center that can be directly linked to hard disks. Hard disks today have been around for so long that nobody really thinks about them anymore. Engineers have spent tons of energy building whole systems that are designed to offset their inefficiencies. But the truth is that hard disks cannot keep up with the processing power of the data center. And they require a large amount of energy, both from a power standpoint and from a cooling standpoint. And this is where solid state drives come in. SSDs provide a huge cost savings. They need less power to operate, they run cooler, and their higher performance allows you to optimize your system for cost. So the operating cost and the carbon footprint of the data center that deploys them shrinks. But not all SSDs are created equal. While SSDs are a thousand times faster than hard disks at the physics level, many SSDs rely on controllers that are inconsistent, that let the work pile up. This undercuts the value of using SSDs. Why put a faster drive in your data center that isn't fast all the time? Intel has designed its own controller that has very tight, predictable IOPS, making it fast every time you need it. Now this is where things get interesting. Imagine spending less energy worrying about the data and where it sits on the disk, and more about the user interface or another piece of that system. Intel SSDs are breaking the paradigm of the traditional storage model for the data center. A hard disk is spinning around in a circle, and there's something mechanical measuring magnetic fields off a rotating disk moving at the speed of rust. It's an antiquated technology. A semiconductor operates at the speed of light. It's a thousand times faster. That's like being able to fly to Shanghai in a minute, as opposed to 10 hours. And if you could do something a thousand times faster, you really don't just do the same thing. If it only took you a minute to fly to Shanghai, how often would you go? You would change the way you use transportation. It would fundamentally change what it is that you do with technology. Intel SSDs are not just a little faster, or a little cheaper, or a little more consistent. They are consistently amazing. SSDs are fueling innovation in the data center. And with the right computing behind them, we're able to do things and provide services to people that were just not possible before.